You have six seconds to like this video right now if you all wake up tomorrow morning in your dream mansion. I still be there for you. What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to a brand new video. Just before this video does go on to start, shout out to the amazing people on screen right now. If you would like a shout out in a future video, make sure to comment hashtag VenomPlays. Comment that around 2-3 to three times for a higher chance to get shouted out in a future video. Also, make sure to go ahead and follow my Twitter at YouTubeVenomPlays. I'll also leave it linked in the description. As well, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Also, make sure to turn the bell icon on so you never miss a future video I do go on to actually upload. Also, make sure to drop a like in today's video as I'd greatly appreciate that. Make sure to watch the entire video as I will actually have a word or a letter in the video. And the first person I see actually comment either the word or the letter, I will actually give you a gift card of your choice. So make sure to go and comment that down below. So all you will need to do is set up the mission Work Dispute and then fight a friend. If you want the Red Joggers you will have to join second, if you want the Black Joggers you will have to join first and if you want to do it with two other people then it will be first is Black, second is Red Joggers, third is Black Joggers and then fourth is Red Joggers. So that is the order in the way the Joggers go. If you actually do need help be sure to let each other know down in the comments down below and leave your gamer tag and what console you play on and be sure to help each other out. So what you want to do, once you've launched up the mission, simply make your way over to your nearest apartment and then stand on top of the blue circle and then pull out your RPG and then shoot it on the ground. So once you have shot it on the ground and actually respawn, simply make your way back over to your apartment and you will be able to go inside it. So then once you have actually got inside your apartment, simply make your way over to the closet or wardrobe and then add like a mask or a hat and then just save the outfit with the joggers. And then once you have done that, all you want to do then is just back out of the mission by pulling up your phone and then just quitting it and then wait to load back into online. So for this, I actually did go ahead and put on a mask and then just save the outfit. So now that you've seen the outfit, like I said, just simply pull up your phone and then just quit the job. So as you will see in just a second, I actually do have the outfit in online and this is so easy to do, you can do it with the black joggers as well. What is going on YouTube? So the first thing you want to do is make sure uh, you're in an invite only session, you have a simple sort of outfit on and put a partial on as I like tends to help out with like the saving process. Make sure your last location is set and then once you've got all that make your way to a time trial. They can be located anywhere in the map. So like this could be different from the time you're actually watching this video. The time trial could be moved but do not worry literally uh, it does still work so once you're at time trial simply drive into it start it up as soon as you start it go into story mode by doing the wheel and then once you do load into story mode bring up the interaction menu from there simply just enter director mode so one thing you also will need to make sure you have is your bird shortlisted and your online character if you don't know where to get your birds I'll leave a link to a video where I actually show two peyote plants that gives you birds and then simply go ahead and make sure you have both of them shortlisted so a bird and online character then just go to shortlist actors and then hold up or down on your analog stick for about 20 or 30 minutes but the easiest way to actually do this simply put an elastic band around your controller and then leave it 
come back to want your bird to finish duplicating and then your character should go on to the hay bale. Once he's on the hay bale, simply go ahead and just delete your bird from the shortlist menu. Then back out, go to actors, then go down to broadwalkers in beach bums and then just press X on appearance until you find either Tron pants or joggers. This doesn't actually matter about the Christmas mask or anything like that for this first part as we're going to literally be making them spawn constantly more so that way you have a higher chance of getting the joggers you want with the Christmas mask. Once you find the outfit simply go ahead and actually shortlist it then go to costumes and then hover over space healing. If they don't actually show there is like a way to actually do this so simply you'd have to like start again with the actual thing of uh, the director mode which kind of sucks but then if you actually do see it then simply just go back and shortlist the bird and then just continue that process with a bird and the hay bale to actually then go back between the online character and your bird but in this case the online character would actually be the joggers one or trom pants that you actually shortlist it then if they do not actually go in the hay bale simply just enter director mode as you can see in the gameplay once you're in director mode wait a couple seconds and then just return back to the trailer and then continue the process of going back between the bird and your shortlist character so it could actually take a couple of times for your shortlisted character to actually go back onto the hay bale so like it could possibly take two to three times to actually go into direct mode and back to actually get him to actually go on the hay bale but then once you've gone on the hay bale then just go back to beach bombs press x on appearance and then you will actually see you get joggers more constantly with trom pants medical pants juggernaut pants so yeah you literally it'll speed a lot of stuff up for you until you actually find an outfit you do like. So for instance, I find this white joggers outfit with a Christmas mask. So once you actually have a fine outfit you do like, go ahead and shortlist that character and then just enter director mode with the character. Then once you have in fact uh, loaded into director mode, simply just hold down on D-pad and go to story mode. Once you are in story mode with your outfit, simply just go start, go to online and make sure you load up an invite only session. If you've done everything correctly, you will actually load in to online with your outfit that you did get from director mode. If not, that means there was in fact something blacklisted that you may have missed. So in that way it is like annoying the way it like does it, it's like 50-50 chance basically with this glitch. Yo what is going on YouTube, welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video I am going to show you every single step you need to know about the director mode. I'm going to show you the peyote plant locations, shortlisting your birds, so you literally know every single thing about the director mode, like how to set it up and actually how to do the actual director mode. Because a lot of you have been asking how do you shortlist birds and all this here stuff so I am hopefully going to be able to help you within this video so you are able to hit the director mode every single time like this is insane it ain't been patched at all like you can get glitched outfits slash mod outfits from this so yeah let's get right into the video so starting off you want to make your way over to story mode in story mode you want to go to two locations one up in Mount Chiliad where once you're actually on Mount Chiliad, you will see to the right hand side, when you actually come up the actual path, you will see two flag posts. Now on these flag posts, you'll see two red ribbons, as you can see in the gameplay. Now on here, you will actually find a peyote plant just lying around these two pillars. For me, since I already got the peyote plant, it actually does not show up for me. But if you haven't actually got this peyote plant, you will actually be able to see it. With this peyote plant, you want to actually go and activate the peyote plant. From there, you will actually be able to get a bird. Now, for the second peyote plant, it is over by the beach. Now, it is actually up on this like sort of balcony sort of area on the actual beach house where you can actually see this Scottish flag. So you can actually get either a helicopter up to this actual location 
or you can actually do what I did and actually just get a car and then just climb up. From here, make your way over to this location and right by here at this like sort of wall and hedge, you'll actually find the second peyote plant. For me, I actually did already have it. So once you have got both of them plants, just simply make your way to director mode. Now from here, this is where you want to shortlist your online character and your bird. So the birds you actually want to use is basically any of the birds that isn't a chicken or a hen. So the hen and chicken does not actually work, um, but all the other birds, as far as I know, work with this glitch. So you just want to go ahead and actually press Y on the bird in the animal section and then Y on your actual online character. From there, simply return to story mode and then simply make a quick save. So to make a quick save, you pull up your phone and then go to quick save and then just save it to any of the tabs. And then that's basically you done. And now what you want to do is make your way over to online. When in online, you want to make your way over to the clothes store. Now in the clothes store, you actually want to go to the front desk and then go to standard outfits. Although you do not actually need a standard outfit, for those that actually want to keep it safe in case it has not been working for you, then go with a standard outfit. So for me, just pick any of these here standard outfits and then simply just remove the glasses or hats. So for me, I am going to go with this standard t-shirt and joggers and then simply just go ahead and remove anything on your face. Now what you want to do is simply pull up your interaction menu. From there, go to style and then equip a parachute. Once you have in fact equipped the parachute, you're ready to go to actually start the glitch. Now just simply find the time trial. It can be located anywhere on the map as they do tend to change. So if you're actually watching this and the time trial is in a different location, do not worry, the glitch will probably still work because it's never been patched. So what you want to do from here is simply make your way over to the actual time trial. From there, simply just get in your car and then start the time trial up. So as you can see, I actually did get in my car and now from there, simply just start the time trial up and then wait a couple seconds and then just go to story mode. Now when you're in story mode, all you simply want to do is simply pull up your interaction menu and actually go to the director mode option and then from there, simply just go ahead and enter director mode. Now, when you're actually in story mode, simply go ahead and go down to shortlist actors. From there, you should see your bird and your online character is shortlisted. Now, just go up and down between your bird and your online character. And as you can see, the bird actually does start to duplicate. Now, this is where you want to put an elastic band around your controller. For about 20 to 30 minutes. You want to actually do this, so that way it's literally AFK, so you can literally go and do something else for about 20 to 30 minutes while your birds duplicate. So, after about 20 to 30 minutes of your birds duplicating, your online character should go over to the hay bale. When your online character goes over to the hay bale, you just want to either go back and forth a few more times, or just leave it on the chicken hawk and make sure the online character doesn't go back to the trailer. Once you are sure the online character doesn't go back, simply back out of the option and then go to beach bombs and then go to any of the categories. When you're actually on any of the categories, simply press X on appearance and as you can see, mod outfits actually do go on to show. Now with the outfits, if they do actually go back to the default characters, do not worry, there is two fixes for this. Now two fixes are, since you didn't go on to delete anything off shortlisted, you can actually go back to shortlisted options and then just go back and forth and then just rinse and repeat. Like literally as you can see, online character goes back to the heavy straight away and then just back out, go to actors, beach bombs and then just start again pressing X on appearance. Another way for this is going to recently used if you did in fact delete your online character or bird from your shortlist option. So as you can see, I actually did get it back again. So all you do is go to sh recently used and then just go down to your bird and your online character. This bit is only for if you deleted your bird or online character from shortlist. So once you have actually got your online character back to the hay bale, 
simply just go ahead and actually back out and then go to any category and press X on appearance. So now with regards to the outfits, so with the outfits you want to have something with a Christmas mask. The reason you want to have a Christmas mask is because they are removed from online meaning they will actually not transfer but the rest of the outfit will. And also the things with the outfits you need to make sure is they do not have Christmas clothing or accessories as they will literally not transfer over to online and you will spawn back in with a default outfit. Also you don't want to have in like in fully invisible body parts or beast hands as they also are blacklisted. So once you have found a Christmas mask on an outfit, simply go ahead and actually shortlist that outfit. From there, go to shortlist the options. Now, simply press A or X on your character with the Christmas mask to enter director mode. Now, when you're in director mode, all you simply want to do from there is walk around for a couple of seconds and then pull up your wheel and then go to story mode. When in story mode, this is where you want to actually go to an invite only session because you have a less chance of actually getting disconnected so from here once you're in story mode simply go start go to online and then go down to invite only session and if you've done all them steps correctly you should have the outfit in online and yeah that is the glitch done like you now have the outfit go ahead and save it to your outfit save slots I'm going to show you how you can actually get multicolored like uh, duffel bags. Like you can get white duffel bags, green duffel bags, blue duffel bags, camo duffel bags. Like legit, this new update, the casino heist brought so many new duffel bags that you can get. So it's no longer just the plain old black or green duffel bags. You can actually get a bunch of different colored duffel bags with this new casino heist update. Like, you can literally get a blue duffel bag, stuff like that there, that you can actually make with your outfit to just tie the whole thing together. Like, with this actual duffel bag though, you will actually need to be doing the new heist update. With the heist update, different missions within the actual setups is actually how you can get the different coloured duffel bags. So each like, sort of setup, that will actually give you a different coloured duffel bag to that setup. So some can actually give you a camo duffel bag, others can also give you a blue, yellow, green I believe as well, as well as a red one. Also with the director mode, you can actually get a fully white duffel bag. I will also have a video out on that white duffel bag in the future, so definitely be sure to stick around for that. Because with the director mode, we can actually get a bunch of new duffel bags, like even more than that is actually in the heist itself so definitely be sure to subscribe with notifications on so you can actually get up to date with these duffel bags like there's so many they've actually brought out with the casino heist update so yeah now let's actually get into how you can in fact get these duffel bags so yeah let's get right into it so the first step that you actually want to do is simply start up the heist you can literally go by yourself and actually set up the heist or with a friend and join off their heist. But all you need to do is make sure you're actually doing one of the heist setups. When you're actually doing the heist setups, you will actually be then be able to get the duffel bag. You must do a heist setup though with a duffel bag in it. I will link in the description and comment section the missions that actually have the duffel bags. So yeah, definitely be sure to go check that out, so that way you can see which mission actually gives you the duffel bike and what duffel bike is in that mission. So what you want to actually do first of all, is simply go ahead and actually set up the mission. You want to be the one to actually pick the duffel bike up if you are actually doing this with a friend. Because you want to be the one that actually has the duffel bike on during the mission, that way you will be the one that actually gets the duffel bike when you're actually going to save it. So when you have actually just got the duffel bag on your character, that is where you actually want to go ahead and actually get either a helicopter or a Mark 
to your oppressor or basically anything that can actually fly. So what you want to do once you have the duffel bag on, simply just make your way back to the waypoint. So when you're actually at the waypoint, this is where it's the crucial step. So what you want to do is simply skydive and you want to land on the yellow circle. Like if you miss the yellow circle, don't worry, do not walk into it, just go ahead and get a helicopter or a Mark II oppressor and try again. But you want to actually land right on the yellow circle so that way it actually completes it and then as you can see you actually do go ahead and enter your arcade. From there you just want to go ahead and if there is an R duffel bag. So with one of these some of these missions you can actually get two duffel bags. Do not worry you just want to continue the same process with both of the duffel bags but you have to be the one to pick it up. So you want to do it both times just deliver so you want to deliver the first duffel bag as well and then just go ahead and do this second one and this is where you also want to skydive onto the yellow circle. So when you have actually delivered both of the duffel bags it will actually finish this setup. So once you have actually finished this setup and you actually land it on the yellow circle with the duffel bag both times all you want to do from there is make your way over to any ammunition. If you have already got the Israel parachute then you do not need to do this step but if you have not got the Israel parachute you need to actually do this step so what you want to do is simply enter the gun store when you're in the gun store walk all the way up to the front counter and then press right on the d-pad when you press right on the d-pad go up to the parachute and actually purchase the Israel parachute bag when you have actually gone ahead and purchased the Israel parachute bag you just want to go ahead back out of that menu. When you've actually backed out of the menu, go ahead and pull up the interaction menu. From there, go ahead and equip the Israel Parachute. When you've actually gone ahead and equipped the Israel Parachute, you just want to make your way back to your helicopter or oppressor. When you're actually at either of those vehicles, make your way over to the mass store by the beach. So when you're actually over by the beach, you actually want to fly up to a good height that gives you enough time to actually parachute and aim towards the mast door. When you're actually parachuting to the mast door, all you simply want to do from there is go as close as you can to the hat section. This is like the trickiest part of the glitch. You want to literally skydive right in as you can see and then spam right on your d-pad to actually enter the mask or hat section. From there, go ahead and save your outfit. Once you've saved the outfit, back out and as you can see the duffel bag will now appear. Now this is where the saving process fully takes place. So this is literally like your backbone to the glitch of saving it which makes it more secure. So what you want to do from there with the duffel bag is still on, simply just repeat that step of skydiving to the mask shop. So what you want to do is simply get back into your helicopter or your oppressor. From there, simply go all the way up in the sky again and then just skydive back down to the mask store. So when you're actually skydiving the second time, you actually want to get as close as you can to actually the hats or the masks. When you actually do go ahead and land, you want to spam right on your d-pad yet again really quickly so that way you can actually go into the hat or the mask section while still having the parachute on. Go ahead and just save it again so that way you are literally guaranteed the duffel bag to actually stick when you switch sessions. So when you actually have saved the outfit again you will now actually see the duffel bag appear. So what you want to do from there is go to style and then just equip the outfit that you did save with the duffel bag and it will actually show this time. So as you can see on my character, I do in fact have the duffel bag. So in today's video, like I said, I'm gonna show you how to get the green duffel bag. You'll actually need to use the director mode glitch to actually do this and also freeze the Christmas mask. So for the director mode, 
you simply have to shortlist a bird on an online character and make sure they're the only two things shortlist it in your actual shortlist menu and also the chicken bird actually does not work so i do not advise using that there to do the dupe birds glitch so once you have got the online character and bird shortlisted make your way into an invite only session and make a standard outfit like you can see on screen and also you will need to equip a parachute as that tends to help with the actual saving process of the director mode. Now what you want to do is make your way over to any time trial on the map. Time trials tend to change every week so the time trial may not be the same as the one in the video but do not worry it will still work. Once you're at the time trial make sure your location is set to last location and then once you have that set up start the time trial and as soon as you actually start the time trial just go into any story mode character. When you're in story mode, go ahead and make your way over to director mode. Now when you're in director mode, go down to shortlist actors and then go up and down on your controller with the bird and online character. What this will actually do is make your bird actually duplicate on top of the hay bale. Now it usually takes about 25 to 30 minutes for the birds to finish duplicating. Once they have finished duplicating, your online character will actually go over to the hay bale. For PS4, I would say don't go fast when actually doing this part, as some people tend to actually get blue screened. Once your character has went over to the hay bale, leave him on there for a couple of seconds in case he actually does go back to a trailer. But once you have got the character on the hay bale, don't delete anything just yet and then go to any category like beach bombs and then press X on appearance and you will see mod outfits. Once you have got the mod outfits to appear, just hold down on your analog stick like you see in the gameplay to go through all the different categories to make sure that your character does not go back to default. Once you are fully confident that your character will not go back to a default, all you simply want to do from there is press X on appearance and find free outfits with a Christmas mask. Now once you have found free outfits that you like with a Christmas mask, all you want to do from there is then delete from your shortlist your bird and your online character. Once you have simply deleted your bird and online character from shortlist and have free outfits with a Christmas mask, you're literally good to go for the next step. For the next step, once you have the Christmas mask shortlisted in your actual menu, go ahead and scroll up on your Christmas mask outfit and then what you want to do as well is spam X on appearance to change it while actually going up really fast on the Christmas masks. What that will actually do is lag the game out, meaning the Christmas mask or a part of the actual outfit will actually freeze and transfer to every other outfit they actually go through. What you also want to do as well is zoom in and out while spamming X and going up and down between the outfits as that tends to help out as well. Another thing is the only way to actually save the green duffel bag is you will in fact need an elf mask or a unicorn mask. That's the only downside but they actually do save the green duffel bag so you can bring it to online. So as you can see, I do actually have the gloves actual stuck. So when I'm going through different outfits, they actually are staying there. Now also when actually freezing the Christmas mask, simply go ahead and spam X as you're scrolling through all your shortlist outfits with Christmas masks. And as you're spamming X, you also want to zoom in and out. And then once you've got it to about one to two minutes of actually doing that, back out and then go to like beach bombs and press X on appearance on the outfits and see if anything has actually stuck. So yeah, you just want to keep doing that. This can take a while to actually get it like stuck with a Christmas mask. But as you can see, I did in fact get the elf mask to in fact stick. Now once you have your elf mask or unicorn actual stuck with the outfits, all you simply want to do is keep pressing X on appearance until you find a duffel bag. Now the duffel bags that work for this 
is the black open, black closed, green open and green closed. Now with the black closed duffel bag it will actually freeze your whole outfit in online and the only way to actually remove that is simply taking the easy way out. But with the other three duffel bags you don't have to do none of that, you can change your outfits regardless. So it actually did take me a while to actually find a green duffel bag on an outfit. So once you have found it and it's actually shortlisted the outfit with the green duffel bag, you don't want to enter director mode just yet. What you want to do is get one of the other Christmas mask outfits that has got no blacklisted clothing and actually enter director mode with that outfit. Once you have seen it's got no blacklisted stuff on it, go ahead and enter story mode by using the wheel. Once in story mode, hit start, go to online and start up in an invite only session. Now when you load back into director mode, you will in fact have the outfit that you recently just got from director mode. But don't worry, just go ahead and save this outfit. You can keep it if you want. If not, just continue to go on with the glitch by going to the clothing store and selecting any standard outfit. Once you have the standard outfit selected, simply remove anything on the face of the outfit and then go ahead and resave the outfit. Now, once you've done that, make your way over to any ammunition. When you're in ammunition, go to parachute bags and equip the actual Israel parachute bag. Once you've got the Israel bag, simply go ahead and back out. Now, pull up interaction menu and put on the parachute. You don't have to actually save this outfit just yet. Now, make your way over to this parachute job in the Los Santos custom area as you can see on the gameplay. Now, once you're actually at the parachute job, all you simply want to do is enter the mission and start it up and make sure that you're actually the host. That way, it's literally just you and you can start it up and you don't have to wait for anyone else. Now, when you have actually started it up, all you simply want to do is jump out of the helicopter and fly directly to the ground. You don't have to do the checkpoints, but once you are in fact near the ground and you're about to hit it, simply pull up your phone and actually quit the job. So like you can see in the gameplay, I am getting quite close to the ground and all you do is simply pull up your phone and then just quit the job. When you spawn into the lobby, all you simply want to do is pull up your weapon wheel and then all you want to do is simply look at your parachute and if you have two parachutes all you simply want to do from there is request a CEO. Once your CEO fly up in a buzzard now as soon as you're landing pull up your interaction menu and switch to the standard outfit. You want to switch to the standard outfit as you see the character actually taking off the parachute. Once you have actually switched to the outfit you'll in fact see at the bottom right an orange circle. Now what you want to do is make your way back to the time trial and simply go ahead and start it up. Once you're in the time trial and start it up, make sure to pull up your wheel and enter story mode and go to any character. Now when you're in story mode, simply go back to direct mode. Now go to shortlist actors. Once you're in shortlist actors, make sure you still have the green duffel bag. Also, when you're actually going through looking for the green duffel bag, you will also see that the outfits that did not have the elf mask will have actually had their mask removed. That is why you want to use the elf mask. Now, once you find the outfit with the green duffel bag and the elf mask, simply go ahead and back out and go to animals and find the bird that you were using at the start to duplicate with. Now, go ahead and select the bird and actually enter direct remote with that bird. Now what you want to do is find a moving vehicle and then fly into it. Now just as you're about to fly into it you want to actually have your interaction menu open and hover over quit direct remote. Now once you have that open all you want to do is spam A just as you're about to hit the vehicle. Now if you've done it right you will actually have a black loading screen. 
Now this will take quite a while if you've actually got it right to actually get the wasted loading screen. So as you can see the wasted loading screen actually did come up for me and then after that it will go back to a black infinite loading screen. Now if you haven't got this the first time and it actually messes up and you do not hit it, do not worry, it will return you back to a trailer and then simply just select the bird and then redo that step again. Now you will get an alert screen, simply just accept that alert screen and it will return you back to director mode. Now when you're back in director mode, all you have to do is go to shortlist actors and then go ahead and select the outfit with the green duffel bag. So now it is time to actually get the duffel bag finally. All you have to do is select the outfit and enter director mode. Now have one last check to make sure the outfit doesn't have any blacklisted clothing. Now all you simply have to do is once you're in story mode just start up an invite only session. Now when you actually do load back into online you should have the green duffel bag. Now all you gotta do from there is simply go ahead and save the outfit and you now have the green duffel bag. For the first step you actually want to pull up your phone and go to money and services and then go all the way down to Maze Bank. From there what you want to do is deposit all of your money into your bank. Then what you want to do is simply back out of all of the options on your screen and then just simply walk up to any ATM. Then once you have the animation, all you want to do is then go ahead and withdraw as much money as you can. So for me, the most I can withdraw is 10 million. Then from there you want to start up any Rockstar created mission. So for me the quickest way is actually do Titan of a Job. So what you want to do is go start online, jobs, play jobs, Rockstar created and then go all the way down to missions and then just click Titan of a Job. So when you actually load into the mission, you do not need to change a single thing. You literally just go ahead and start up the mission by yourself. So when you actually load into the job, all you simply want to do is literally walk up to the ATM for a second time and then just withdraw 100,000. So from there, just go ahead and withdraw 100,000 from the ATM. So now that you have withdrawn the 100,000, simply go ahead and then just back out of that option and then just quit the mission through your phone. It will actually load you in, hopefully, to your new session and hopefully it does not kick you. So if you are loaded back into our session, simply just go over to the ATM for a third time. Now that you're at the ATM, simply take out a 100,000 yet again. When you have taken out a 100,000, yet again simply just back out of the ATM. Once you have backed out of the ATM simply pull up your phone and then call Martin. This glitch only works with Martin. When you have actually called Martin spam X as quickly as possible and you will actually see at the top right of your screen you are awarded 600,000. So from there simply quickly run to the ATM and deposit all your money. Like you want to deposit every single bit of money you have into your ATM account. So the downside to this glitch is I would say only do it two times a day that way you stay under Rockstar's radar and you don't get banned. If you actually want to rinse and repeat this method it is so easy to do to continue to keep getting 600,000 every time you do this. Then with the second time of actually doing it you only have to use the ATM once. So now all you want to do is simply go back to tighten of a job. So all you have to do from there is simply go ahead and you only have to do the withdraw money once. So all you want to do is simply go ahead, confirm settings and then just start up the mission yet again. When you actually load into the game, all you simply want to do is make your way over to the ATM yet again. When you're actually at the ATM, all you want to do from there is just withdraw 10 million. Or withdraw your maximum amount that you actually have on you, as everyone literally could be different. Now what you want to do is simply pull up your phone and then just quit the job yet again. This is literally the easiest money glitch ATM 
that you can actually do right now. So then what you want to do when you actually spawn back into your line, go ahead and make your way over to the ATM and then just simply go ahead and actually log in to the ATM. When you actually have logged into the ATM, all you want to do is withdraw a hundred thousand. Then from there, pull up your phone and then call Martin yeah again. Then when you have actually called Martin, just simply go ahead and actually spam X on your controller and you will literally get another 600,000. Then all you want to do from there is actually deposit all your money back into your ATM account. So all you want to do is simply go back to the ATM and then just deposit everything back into the ATM. So yeah, that is literally it done. This is so easy to do. Like that's literally the glitch done. Like I said, only do it about two times a day, just so you don't get detected by Rockstar. So for the second method, uh, all you simply need to do is make your way over to an apartment or a CEO building and then simply get your friend to actually start up a CEO organization and then simply go ahead and invite you to their organization. Once you have in fact joined the organization, Tell your friend to go to management and style and all he simply wants to do is equip the CEO style called arms dealer. Once your friend has actually equipped the style to arms dealer you will have the tan and green CEO body armors. Once you find the CEO armor that you like simply just get your friend to then go down to the dismiss. Uh, so when he or she is actually hovering over your name to dismiss you from organization, you simply want to make your way into the shard. Now when you're at the shard, simply just have on your screen the button to actually allow you to enter the shard and then what you want to do from there is simply enter the shard at the same time your friend actually kicks you from the CEO. Now if you have actually done it correctly, simply just leave the shard and then you will have the outfit on. If you don't, do not worry, simply just go ahead and do it again as it can take a few times to actually get it at the right timing so that way you actually get the CEO outfit every time. So yeah, now let's move on to the last method. So for the last method, this is just for female characters only. All you simply have to do is make your way over to any clothes store in the map. It doesn't matter which one you actually go to, but when you're there, simply go over to tops and then go to fitted suit jackets. Now the fitted suit jackets you want to pick from is the boating blazers. Now this can be the white, black, cyan, navy, red or cream. Pick whichever one you actually do want to equip and then once you have picked a fitted suit jacket, simply go to body armor and go down to show armor and you will actually see it doesn't give you the actual armor but in fact the CEO body armor. So yeah, this sadly however only works on female characters. Tonight I'm losing my head, I'm letting you know So won't you come back and tell me where you belong Losing my layers, I'm letting you know So won't you come back into me where you belong Won't you come back into me where you belong All we ever wanted is to be
In today's video, I'm actually going to show you how you can get a RIP t-shirt. Now to actually do this, all you simply need to do is simply go to clothes, go down to tops, vests, and make sure you select the vest called QB Navy Sweater Vest. Once you select that, then all you want to do is go ahead and then save that outfit. Once you have saved the outfit, all you want to do from there is go back to outfits, go down to heist coveralls and select any of the coveralls that actually have the chemical mask. Once you have selected the chemical mask outfit, all you want to do is then go over to the nearest telescope where that be in your apartment or by the beach. Then all you want to do is do the hat and mask glitch, so simply run past the telescope, hit right in the d-pad and then from there quickly bring up your interaction menu and then put the outfit back on. Then if you've done it correctly the chemical mask will actually transfer to the outfit. Once you've got it transferred go ahead and save the outfit over the slot that you just saved it previous. Now once you've saved the outfit go ahead and then select the outfit six times. Once you've selected the outfit six times, go ahead and start up Titan of a Job. To do Titan of a Job, simply do Start Online Rockstar Created, go down to Missions and start up Titan of a Job. Now, once Titan of a Job starts up, simply make your way back to your wardrobe and then go down to Vest Shirts. Now when you're on vest shirts go ahead and select any of the band vest shirts. Once you select the band shirt that you actually want you will see it actually glitches through the t-shirt. Once you've got the t-shirt band vest glitched to the one you want go ahead and just save the outfit. Once you have saved the outfit all you want to do from there is simply pull up your phone and just leave the mission. So yeah that is it for today's video if you did go on to enjoy it be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you are new and remember to turn that bell icon on so you never miss future videos like this. Venom Plays signing out. Peace. Satisfied My weakness comes and goes My weakness comes and goes I'm reaching out for the easy high Please fortify this strength of mine My weakness comes and goes My weakness comes and goes
fight. My-